What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here at the CES 2023 edition in Las Vegas. And guess what? Walking around, we had a stop at this vehicle. And this is something very special. This is a Faraday FF91. But before we get into this full, powerful, electrified SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. It is a mad dash rush to see who is going to reign supreme when it comes to pure electrified vehicles. Obviously, everybody knows Tesla, but this startup in California, vehicle built in California, the Faraday FF91, is taking a very interesting balance between power, range, and also style. Now, of course, there's starting to be a flood of many of the usual suspects, Mercedes-Benz, Audi, Volvo, all these brands creating pure electrified vehicles, but does Faraday have a unique touch to be the king of these standouts when it comes to an electrified SUV? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this FF91 and find out. Right off the bat, the styling, something that's definitely gonna separate the vehicle from the rest of the pack. Up front, you're gonna get this very slim, angular headlight housing, full projector beam LED headlight, with a nice signature daytime running lamp, which actually runs all the way across the front of the vehicle. As we work our way down to help with drag coefficient, you're gonna have these massive corner air curtains. This is gonna help channel the air that hits the vehicle and goes down the side. I like the way they angled it out and use some very tasteful gloss black that flows into the lower section. Now, as we come towards the front, you're gonna see the Faraday logo, very unique, and I like the way it's illuminated. This is something that I know a lot of people are saying, well, how is one electric vehicle gonna have a personality compared to another electric vehicle? Definitely in its illumination with LED lighting, but one thing that's definitely not gonna hurt the FF91 is that you have a total of three electric motors producing a little over a thousand horsepower. And if you're wondering about a range, Faraday is saying that they have EPA certification of over 380 miles with that amount of power. Now, as we get up onto that front hood area, I love the way the lighting, everything flows nicely into the top portion. You are gonna get a bit of gloss black in the center, but that does balance nicely with what's happening on the lower portion. And I like the way it has that V formation that goes right towards the A pillars. Now, as we come around the bend, of course, one thing that really helps with style are wheels. Wheels can make or break the look of a vehicle. When we look at the Faraday, what do we got going on here? These pizza size 20, 22 inch wheels love the use of gloss black and just a little bit of machine aluminum. You have that Faraday logo in the center there, looking great. Like I said, made in California. You'll also notice how everything has that nice painted color match finish. So no flat black, no gloss black around the exterior portion. You have those three electric motors with regen braking and then that lithium ion battery pack in the belly of this beast. But I love the style of the wheel. And if you're wondering what's the size of the tire, 275 on the width, 40 series sidewall, and these are Pirelli low resistance tires to help with that rotation. Now, as we come down the side, you'll notice the two-tone setup with the silver nice rounded for that low drag coefficient remember it's not just about battery size it's also about the shape of the vehicle and having this shape cut through the air like a hot knife through butter but coming into the side you do have your badging the ff91 futurist badging semi tasteful i wish they would have put it maybe a little higher up but you know what it is what it is but you do have your two-tone style gloss black on your mirror caps with some of that nice satin silver, 360 degree cameras, large triangular corner windows to help with blind spots. And then look at what we have on the interior. Now we can't get inside right this second, but we're showcasing that massive portrait style infotainment system screen. You'll notice how you do have a digital gauge display that's nice and high up near the base of the windshield. And then I love the style on the steering wheel. Not really totally perfectly round, but not a D-shape either. It's got your gloss black buttons, all your switch gear, and then look at the illumination on the center console. Love the LED lighting. You have your leather seats, heated, ventilated, very unique touch on the headrest. You got your Alcantara material. And then another thing you'll notice, no exterior door handles. You're actually just gonna push the button. That's gonna open up the vehicle and allow you to get in, which you just 
hit that button and that would swing out. Now on the bottom portion, you do have, of course, that gloss black and what you can't see is there's actually illuminated LED lights from in this black area. And then of course, as we come towards the rear, nice flat roof is gonna allow a lot of headroom in there. Check out the screen size. <laughs> that is just freaking ridiculous. Something like you would see hanging on the wall in your house as you're watching Radies Ride. You have that full screen technology, the LED lighting, the center console, full leather interior, just like you have up front. Look at where they actually put to open up the doors. Nicely, easy to get to. And they took that combination of the gloss black on the exterior, brought it into the interior. Alcantara microfiber headliner. You got your grab rails. And then coming towards the back, I think one of my favorite parts is how they did the rear quarter window. Not only is it a decent size, but I love the way they actually took the rear pillar and brought it into where that rear quarter window is. Very, very unique on the style. And then coming down the side here, like I said, just like what we started up up front, that nice curve aerodynamic S. I'm gonna have Lori show the bottom portion, how that lower sill extends down to really give that aerodynamic efficiency, cut down on drag. And then coming around the back, they really did it right. You don't have to worry about some big ginormous wind rear glass wiper. You have a very nice low double setup on your rear wing. There is your uh, digital camera up there. You have, of course, air that's gonna travel over and under. Nice size on that rear glass. And then look at the signature LED lighting from Faraday all the way across from one side to the other with the Faraday Future badging. Very slim on the lettering, very tasteful, but definitely the color is just phenomenal. And then on the back portion, I love the way you have these functional rear vents to help with that airflow. Because like I said, it's about channeling air around the front of the vehicle, down the side and out the back to help extend that range. Because at the end of the day, with the three electric motors, we're looking at about 1,050 horsepower out of this vehicle. But it really showcases how you could have the power. They're obviously working on that range. And then another thing I wanna show you is how with the rear doors, how they have that suicide door operation. There's that LED lighting I was telling you about that illuminates. And then Lori's gonna have you take a little gander of what it looks like sitting in the back seat. We actually have our model here showing us how much room there is. Very luxury setting. Flat bottom floor because of it being an electric vehicle allows us to have that extra leg room, that screen size, and the LED lighting. You'll see on the inside of the door panel here, your switch gear, your venting, the stitching is all really nice, high-end materials, and I love the use of that suicide door function. But on top of that, coming back into the interior, not only do you have that portrait-style screen in the center, but you also have a separate screen there for your passenger to watch Netflix, whatever you want on that passenger side. And look at how very creative the design has been that they brought into that inside area, but really cool to be able to show all of that use that they have with the high-end materials, the technology, and of course, all of that extra space that we have because of that flat bottom floor. But working our way toward back towards the front, really amazing to finally see this car in person. This is one of those vehicles that many people have asked for and we've been trying to track down and find, but seeing the Faraday FF91 in person really has a presence. You can see all the excitement about this vehicle here at CES, and that's the thing that's kind of interesting about CES is that when I was younger and I was into video games, it was about coming to CES and seeing all the latest and greatest in video games. Well, guess what? My first trip here, it's all about the technology that is being brought and the excitement to these different electrified vehicle platforms. A lot of competition, like I said, coming from Mercedes-Benz, coming from Audi, coming from Volvo, coming from BMW. Of course, Tesla is still there fighting the good fight, but this is another American company in California that is producing a vehicle that they feel will have not only the touches that people want, those personalized special touches, not only the technology, you saw all the screen size inside, but also, of course, that performance. Zero to 60, are you ready for this? 2.4 seconds. And if you're wondering, is this worth the price? And you're saying, well, what is the price? Estimated price would be around $200,000. So 
Let me know in that comment section how you feel about the FF91, the range, the horsepower, the price, and what you're getting on that interior. Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way, I'll hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. I'll come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. We got to give it up to Lori, LG Rady. Lori Givens Rady, she doesn't allow anybody to push her around. And it's been pretty tough. We had to do some boxing here with some people. But Lori came out the champ. She's wearing the belt. She's got the crown. Thank you, Lori, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.